Um, energy, electricity, gas prices have gone through the roof and will continue to do so. Um, weather has intensified and will continue to do so. We've got uh, just recently experienced zero degrees in Richmond in the middle of Melbourne and it goes all the way up to 40 degrees where um, electricity networks melt because we're overuse it. Things like that will always continue, continue to happen and to intensify and people become a lot more aware of um, airtight buildings, hard performance buildings through shows like Grand Design and and projects that, that have been delivered in Australia. So now um, we've got six or seven uh, certified passive houses at this stage, a lot more in production and a lot more on site and plan in, in planning. The uh, passive house designer consultant engineering, uh, consultant designer course, sorry, um, they're rapidly filling up. Um, by the end of this year, we're expecting about 90 certified passive house designers and consultants and at this stage there's only 26 or 27 um, certified passive house tradespeople. Therefore, you know, it's, it's quite obvious that there is as a bottleneck of, of certified qualified people executing these projects on site. We can design whatever we want to design. If no one builds it, it's not going to happen. <laughs>